So I'm up here in what used to be our tomato patch um, behind the house. This is where we used to do uh, our direct plant tomato into the ground. And we would have this whole area filled uh, with tomato plants. This year, because we had a few things ready to go into the ground and I wasn't ready to put the tomatoes here, we changed it up and we put other things here. And so like our zucchini, our squash, um, we have some broccoli, we tried to do uh, some cabbage, and uh, we did pole beans in here because they were like ready to go. And so I'm learning that, I'm, I'm trying to learn what should be where and how much sun it needs and how well it does and how big it gets and how it you know, just grows. And so this is a very hodgepodge, hodgepodge garden. There's a lot of things in here. A lot of things that get big. So like the zucchini, they get big. The broccoli, they're getting big. And so I'm trying to figure out what we can put where. I've seen a lot of um, homesteaders or gardeners, they do this um, mass garden type of a thing where they just put in as much as they can and let it grow. And what you get is just this really lush, thick patch of vegetables. Um, and I think that works really well with things like um, lettuces and cabbages and the broccoli, the zucchini has totally overtaken that first portion there. Like you can barely even see in there. Um, we start kind of thinning it out a little bit so that we can actually see what's growing because we have we have zucchini growing that we just can't get to. Um, but we start thinning that out, and that's I think that's been helpful. The broccoli this year has not done very well. Um, yeah, we have insects that just love our broccoli leaves, and in this location, they are annihilating them. A number of years ago, we had our garden over here, where our big garden is next to the shed, and we did broccoli in there, and it, we had broccoli crowns for weeks uh, before the bugs got to the leaves. This year, that's not the case. I don't think we have any crowns at all coming up on the broccoli, but the leaves, they're just, they're absolutely shredded. So. Right, by now we should be seeing broccoli crowns coming out of these and we just, there's not. There's maybe a crown coming up there. <sighs> yeah, nothing coming up there. But you can see these things are just being annihilated. So I don't think we're going to get broccoli this year. So I might come in later this week and just pull all of these and then... Uh, clean this space up because right next to it here we've got another row of pickles that are beginning to struggle because I think they're not getting the sun they need because of the broccoli so if we want to see these thrive I think we need to get rid of these the other reason is we now have cabbage that's doing fairly well I want to make sure that we get cabbage here sorry I was pointing the wrong direction with the camera we want to see these little cabbages do well. So I think we're going to pull all of this, take it on down to the chickens, and just let them have a field day because they will love eating all of this broccoli. It'll also give us space in this garden for this plant, which is a watermelon plant, this little guy here, which is a watermelon plant, and Where's the other one? There should be three. The other one, I don't know what happened to the other one. Oh wait, one, two, three, there they are, one, two, three. So we're gonna let these watermelon grow. It'll also give us space to do something with this other patch of cucumbers because these are doing really, really well. And like I do with the cucumbers in the bigger cucumber patch, um, we want to see these grow up, not out, and so we need to come in here and get all this cleaned up. But there is a nice cucumber there, and like I said, these are the Super 8s. They're supposed to be really long and slender, so we've got one growing in there. We've got this guy here that's probably ready to get picked, and we've got a lot of, a lot of flowers and a lot of starters coming in and so we'll give this a little bit of attention try to get this growing up and uh, see what we can do with that so. 